In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on February 22, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like access to our exclusive betting picks where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and more, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Now let's get started. Richmond vs. George Washington The Richmond Spiders travel to Washington to take on the George Washington Colonials Tuesday night Atlantic 10. The Spiders are coming off a 77-57 loss at VCU last Friday night. The Colonials are riding a two-game win streak after beating Rhode Island 72-61 last Saturday. This is the first matchup between these two teams. Richmond is 4-0 against the spread in their last four games played on Tuesday. George Washington is 8-1 against the spread in their last nine games over Overall, the under is 7 to 1 to 1 in Richmond's last 9 road games. The over is 4 to 1 in George Washington's last 5 games following a straight up win. The over is 4 to 1 to 1 in Richmond's last 6 road games against a team with a winning home record. In this battle of two middle of the pack teams in the Atlantic 10, expect George Washington's two stars to get rolling early. Mamasile is averaging 21 PPG and Bishop is averaging 21.7 PPG in their last 3 home games. The Colonials have won all 3 of those games. Games. They have also covered the spread in their last five home games overall, in their only two home conference losses. They lost to number one seed Davidson by three and to the number two seed VCU by two. So George Washington to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. George Washington might not be the most efficient offense out there, but it does play fast with an average of 69.2 possessions per game. With Richmond also ranking fifth in the Atlantic 10 in shortest average possession length, the Colonials should get plenty of cracks at the poorest Spiders defense and at least features a strong scoring duo in Bamisile and Bishop even if the depth isn't there yet. Richmond does a lot of things well offensively, as it remains a strong paint offense thanks to Golden and is one of the best teams in all of college basketball at avoiding turnovers. Both teams are going to get plenty of possessions here, and there's enough scoring talent to take advantage. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Rhode Island vs. St. Bonaventure The Rhode Island Rams, losers of two straight games, take to the road to battle the Bonnies of St. Bonaventure in an Atlantic 10 matchup tonight. The Bonnies comes in red hot, winners of five straight to move to fourth in the conference with four games left in the regular season. The St. Bonaventure Bonnies are coming off of a 26-point win against Duke Wisney in their last timeout. Jalen Attaway had 21 points in the win for the Bonnies. Austin Osney had 18 while Dominic Welch had 16 in the win. The Bonnies are averaging 72 points per game on 45.8% shooting from the field. They are allowing opponents to score 67.5 points per game. They are shooting 76.3% from the free throw line. The Rhode Island Rams are coming off of an 11-point loss against GW in their last timeout. Mako Mitchell had 15 points for the Rams. Mackay Mitchell added 13 points and 10 rebounds. Malik Martin had 12 points and 9 rebounds in the loss. The Rams are averaging 67.4 points per game on 46% shooting from the field. They are allowing opponents to score 63.9 points per game. They are shooting 64.1% from the free throw line. Although the Rams are 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games following an against the spread loss and are 1-4 against the spread in their last five games following a straight up loss, this feels like too many points to lay with Bonnies. The Bonnies are 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 games versus a team with a winning straight up record and are 2-6-1 against the spread in their last nine games following and against the spread win. Not sure if the Rams get the win here, but they should be able to keep this one close. Rhode Island to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Bonnies do not play at a particularly fast pace, just 262nd in the country according to Ken Palm but they are the 52nd most efficient offensive team in the country. Moreover, they are scoring at a higher pace over the past five games at nearly 78 points per game. I fully expect that trend to continue at home versus Rhode Island. Having lost eight of nine, it seems unlikely the Rams will be willing or able to battle in the trenches with the interior offense of the Bonnies. I fully expect St. Bonaventure to push their score up high and the Rams will do just enough to get this total. Over the projected total is our full game side pick. 
Ball State versus Kent State. The Kent State Golden Flashes will host the Ball State Cardinals on Tuesday in a Mid-American Conference matchup. Kent State won the first head-to-head -head matchup this season 66-65 as a two-point road favorite. Ball State won and covered the spread in the lone head-to-head -head games in 2021 and 2020. The Kent State Golden Flashes sit with a 17-9 record overall and they have gone 13-10-1 against the spread. Coming into this game, Kent State has won eight games in a row including the last game against the Ohio Ohio Bobcats. The defense was strong in that game, giving up only 52 points, and that led to the easy victory. Kent State is averaging 70.7 points while their defense is giving up 63.5 points per game. Sincere Carey has been the top player for Kent State, averaging 17.6 points while shooting 43.6% from the field and 35% from behind the three-point line. On the other side of this matchup is Ball State that comes into this game with a 12-14 record overall, and they have gone 13-12 against the spread. In the last game against Bowling Green, the offense was elite scoring 91 points, and that led to the 9-point victory. Ball State is averaging 75.2 points while their defense has given up 77.1 points per game. Peyton Sparks has been the top player for Ball State averaging 13.4 points while shooting 54% from the field. There are four different players that are averaging at least 11 points per game. Kent State is 4-0-1 to to against the spread in their last five games played on Tuesday. The under is 4-0 zero in Kent State's last four games overall. The over is 16 to 4 to 1 in Kent State's last 21 games following a straight up win of more than 20 points. Kent State is the much better team and their defense is going to lock down Ball State in this game. Look for the lack of scoring by Ball State to be the difference as Kent State is going to cruise to the victory. Kent State to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Ball State is coming off a 91-point performance, but that was against Bowling Green team that is second in adjusted tempo, 328th in adjusted defensive efficiency, and also now without two key players. Things will be different for the Cardinals on Tuesday. Kent State is 263rd in adjusted tempo and has been playing incredible defense recently. In Kent State's last two games, they held the Mid-American Conference's top offensive team according to Ken Palm a team that averages 80 ppg to 59 points and the third best offensive team in the conference which averages 74.4 ppg to 52 points expect to see ball state look more like the team that only scored 58 points against northern illinois two games ago in this contest kent state has played to the under in their last four games and that trend will continue here so under the projected total is our full game total pick that's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.